weenies. All right, guys, welcome back to Cobra Vids. We're inside the garage and we're going to be showing you why you should rotate your tires. First off, we got to get this thing jacked up. Uh, I hope that glare back there is not uh, making you unable to see this handsome face right here. <laughs> Weenie girls, you want to be on camera? You want to be on camera, huh? You want to be in a YouTube video, huh? You want to be in a YouTube video? Oh, huh? no, no, no. you, you talk, you talk, you talk to daddy. <clears throat> All right, first thing we got to do is get this thing jacked up and on some safe jack stands so that we can swap the front and backs. We'll talk about how I'm swapping them and why I'm doing it this way and other ways that people do it just so that you can get a good idea of uh, what's going on here. All right, let's get busy. So anytime you have your car jacked up, I, I like to let the wheels hang freely so that while I'm done with them, I can, I can check the tie rods, I can check the bearings and the ball joints, the axles, and make sure everything's still nice and tight, and then I can continue on doing whatever it was that I was doing. All right, so right now I've got uh, both sides jacked up and supported safely with jack stands, or both sides, front and back. And now I'm gonna start taking the tires off. These, uh, these Jettas have a, a, a factory OEM locking lug nuts. I wanna take them all off because I think it's just stupid. Alrighty guys, as you can see, this side is worn out a little more than this side, and um, that, the car has great alignment, so I'm not exactly sure what's causing this to wear out. The bearings are fine, the ball joints are fine, uh, I'm not quite sure what's happening here, but it's starting to wear uneven along the edge here. All right, guys, here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, these tires are the same exact age, okay? They, they were bought and put on this car at the same time. And if we look over here at the one that was at the rear, you can see that it's even wear all the way across the tire. So that shows that all the ball joints and bearings and stuff in the back are perfect. No uneven wear at all. And uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of tread left on the tire. If we look at this one, it's not got that much. The tires up front receive a lot more friction wear than the ones on the back because the ones on the back are just trailing. They're just following. So they get very little rub time. When you have more friction, the rubber is going to wear off a lot faster. So I caught these just in time. Uh, if this kept going, this might wear out a little faster and show the belt and then i would have to replace it prematurely i want to get these tires down to where the wear bars are showing and maybe even wear down into the wear bars a little bit i'm i'm cheap like that but anytime that you you uh you have a tire that is wearing down you want to put that on the back but anyway we're going to put this one on the back and we're going to put this one up on the front and uh these tires are going to last a hell of a lot longer. If I let this tire stay up front, I got maybe 20 more thousand miles and I would have to replace it because of that uneven wear. Throw it in the back, I got another 30, 40,000 miles left on these tires. I'll turn the camera back on and show you what the other side looks like. They look very similar to this. Now, keep in mind, a lot of guys will cross rotate as well. I have never found any benefit any true benefit of cross rotating like that never found a single bit of benefit so i just go straight back and forth and i uh, call it good just like that and sometimes i don't think it's these tires but sometimes they have actual rotational directions 
the tread is rotationally set so that it has to stay on the left or right side because of the rotation of the tire. I don't think these tires are like that, but you find that on like motorcycle tires and stuff that they have to be facing a certain direction in order for them to achieve maximum traction. So we're going to go ahead and get this tire up front and this tire in the back. We'll move the car over, shift around a little bit, and we'll do the other side. Alrighty guys, here's the other side, and I could definitely tell that this side is wearing more unevenly on the inside there than the other one, but uh, uh, not too bad. I'm, I'm not too worried. These are going to be in the back, so if they lose air, it's not a, as big of a deal as if it was in the front. But here's the one that was in the back. This is going to go back on the front here. It's in the same shape as the other one. Uh, deep, deep tread. It's going to last up front for probably 20, 30 more thousand miles. Uh, but these back ones, the ones that are going to be in the back, I might have to replace those within the next 10 or 20. But uh, we'll get more out of them in the back than if we left them up front for sure. All right, so we're going to get them mounted, and then, uh, and then we're going to be done. Why should you rotate your tires? Because you're going to extend the life of the tires you have if you rotate the front to the back uh, about three quarters of the way through the life uh, this has barely any tread these have probably three times the tread and they were put on the car at the same time so now if i put these up front by the time these get like that we'll be ready for a whole new set of tires but uh that's that's going to pretty much wrap it up i'm going to get them mounted back up um just in case you have a jetta and you uh you want to know the torque on the uh, lug nuts are 88 pounds of torque. And when I torque them down and the torque wrench goes pop, I go just a hair more. That's me. You do what you need to do to get your tires mounted. But all right, guys. Thanks for watching Cobra Vids. Uh, we're going to wrap this up and get my wife back on the road. Until next time, guys. Stay safe. Ride free. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.